everyone so we've been doing a little mini series thing here on how to write a pattern from scratch this is the batwing cardigan i've already gone ahead and done the cuffs and the front now like i said before planning is everything measure make sure it will fit you otherwise you'll be in trouble um if my pattern seems a little bit tight for your wrists, go again. That's all I can suggest. This is a pattern work in progress. If you want to test it with me, that's great. Now, I found my cuffs a little bit tight. Blocking, save me. If you don't know how to block, you just get an old pillowcase, soak it in water. Put it over your knit work and iron. It's the best way to do it for acrylic because you're basically steam stretching it. And that's what I've done here. So that fits my hand quite loosely and comes straight out, which is what I want. How I have done my edging, my cuffs and the waistband is you're casting on every other needle. And then you're just going with it. I've done 20 lines because I want my jumper to be a bit longer than what I've got in my pattern. But whatever you want to do it for you. I'm sorry, my machine is sticking because it doesn't like going every other needle. But like I've said in the past, do not force it. Go back, see what the problem is, see why it's sticking. So in my case, it's this needle. It's not letting go of the first stitch. Which is fine. We've got a little bit of troubleshooting in this video, it seems. So you're just going to take the stitch off the needle and do some of this where it has been sticking. Not a problem. Go back to your first stitch, latch it over and just manually pick up and knit them by hand. So I'm just picking up each yarn that it should have knitted properly this should resolve my issues right so that last stitch will loosen that up That's the only one where I've got the situation on. If you do have this problem and you put them all into hold like I'm about to do because I want to check the tension of all of these to see why the machine's sticking, uh, make sure you've got the lever closest to you pulled forward. So instead of having it on the one, have it on the two. Otherwise, all these are in hold and it won't knit. That's better. Alright, so we want 40 lines of this. I am up to 10. The reason why I haven't given you a stitch count for this is because you are picking up from the edge. It all depends on your width, your length, how far you can stretch it, how big you did your waistband. So this one, it's completely on you. If you want numbers though, I've done from 40 to 45 on the other side. If you want numbers. And the sleeves I did 20 of 20. But then I blocked the sleeves afterwards to give it more gear. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Then all you're going to do is loosely cast this off. You want this loose because it is going around your waist um, as loose as possible. Cast it up and sew it to the edge in here. Sew your other pieces to that, and you should have your jumper. 
I'll get back to you once I've done that. So grab your needles ready, start catching your stitches and sew it up and we'll see how it fits. I just realised I told you to do 40 lines, I've only done 20. I need to do 20 more. Let's get that done. Not appear on the mast. The scrub roll is real, people. I am honestly doing 40 lines. If you want us to stop at 20, that's fine with me. As I said in the first video, your garment, your way. there we go that's better also if you wanted the full pattern it is in the description below I will have a few side notes to go with it on this one I have been posting and updating the pattern as I've been doing it in the descriptions so if you get lost in my videos and I've gone too quick just please read the description I put it in there I know some people are kinetic learners, some people are linear learners. So whatever way you learn, I've tried to cater for most. I've tried. So I've threaded up my needle and I'm ready to cast this off and sew it onto there. Catch you when we've done it. So this is a top we've been working on the past few weeks. I decided to go with the ribbing top. Um, it can be folded down, folded up, so if it's a bit colder, I've got something to wrap around. I've got the bat wings going on, I've got the hem, fashion little tom tom. Doesn't help that I've got my pyjama top on underneath. Let's pull that down so you can see the hem better. So, things that I would change about this pattern, because pattern's all about you. You change it to how you want. Now, let's face it. I've gone from these scribbles on a piece of paper to this. Not bad, right? So things I would change. The cuffs, I would start on a bigger knit. I'd probably add a couple more lines to the rows. So it's got more of a wing. Um, the waist, I'd probably add a couple more lines on. It's all the food, I'm telling you. The neckline, I'd probably do a bit more closed but with the neckline it can be forgiven you can sew it back around do what you want with it I added a hem onto the neckline because I didn't like the finished look of it so like I said in the past your top you make it your way and I actually kind of like this this is something I would wear if you're not keen on something though don't throw it away Use it as a learning experience. Put it in a bag for the homeless. Pay it forward. That's all there is to it. So, this is the top. You have my comments on my own pattern. I hope you enjoyed watching the struggle of writing a pattern. Maybe it's inspired you to make your own. Leave a comment. Tell me what you've done. Like, share, subscribe, whatever you need to do. Talk to you later. Bye.